Cyberhawk is an engineering company that uses drones for asset inspection. The kind of things that we inspect, like an oil and gas platform, an oil and gas refinery, they have the potential to generate a lot of harm. And if we find any problems, we can report them and then repairs can be carried out to make sure they continue to be operated safely. In the past, I would carry out inspections of assets using harnesses and caving equipments. Getting into intricate and tricky locations is challenging and it's dangerous. The only way to carry out that inspection was to actually shut down the asset. Operators are under great pressure now to reduce the number of shutdowns, so one of the ways that we can do that is by performing these inspections whilst the plant is live. Human beings, when they're hanging in midair, you get scared. And so the human instinct is, I just want to get this job done and get out of here. So if you can replace that and you can put a robot or a drone into that environment to capture the data, then you get better quality data as a result. Flying in Scotland, the devices have to withstand strong winds. The Intel Falcon platform is perfect for that because it has the highest wind tolerance and the best power to weight ratio of any platform in the market. You can do so, go left a bit. Good shots here, Stuart. Good shots, heading down. They gather imagery from as many angles as possible and then they return to our office with that data. The Falcon 8 Plus was designed for applications like inspections, flying around electromagnetic interference and magnetic field disturbances. It has triple redundant autopilot and could avoid objects automatically while in flight. If there's any other mechanics that compromise the flight system, it maintains flight. You can add different payloads to it, a 42 megapixel camera, for example, a thermal camera. With one single screw, you can actually swap them in and out from the drone. We have a program which we use for asset inspection, which allows us to tag those images with defects, which shows in a color-coded system whether those components are in good condition or bad. This is not just about deploying drones, it's about business transformation. The way we did inspections in the past is going to change. The drone technology is an amazing capability that is mature enough to broadly be adopted into the workflows that our customers are looking to solve. What I used to say to the guys, we're going in to do a job, which is in a lethal environment. Let's make sure that everybody comes out at the end of the day. Drones, in my opinion, in the last 20 years that I've worked in the inspection industry, is the biggest single change we've seen to date.